Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Sim 22. Today we're producing oil. So the quickest way to figure out what we need for oil is to look in the construction menu. So you can go here to others construction or on a computer hit shift P and go to production and then you just scroll until you find the product you wish which for us will be the oil mill and you can see it inputs olives, canola or sunflower and outputs olive oil, canola oil, sunflower oil. So at this point you can either buy a separate building as long as you own the land or if there's one on your map like there is on Elm Creek you can find it on the map and you want to look for the factory symbol which is this one. This down arrow is a selling point so that's kind of the difference there. So I'm already at the oil mill in Elm Creek so we just go around and the top left you'll see it switch over to buy production point so I hit R and now we have the mill. So now we can either manage it from the mill here or in your menu you can see under the production chains um, item that we now have the oil mill and they're all deact or they're all activated. We just don't have anything in them. And here's the recipe. So 200 sunflower makes the oil for sunflower and they're all um, similar where it will produce half as much uh, of as the original product and we have it set to storing, so we are good to go. Now we just need to actually produce these things, which is what we will do today. So if we go over, um, I kind of have some things set up. The first thing we'll get is the crop calendar. We are in March, and in March we can actually start planting sunflowers and we can start planting olives. So let's start with olives. And to do that, we'll go back to construction menu and we will look under production orchards and we already have the olive grove selected here and so now we can build our orchard and to do that you just drag and you do that for as many as you need um, you can s and I'll show you the tools that we are going to use for this once I get a few I want to make sure we have enough yield to make this worth it so one thing with production and you could actually get these closer together if you uh, kind of spend a little more time doing it. And then that's nice because if you need to spray fertilizer or anything, then um, you don't have to take as many trips. At this point, I should be going all the way up. Um, but we'll keep it about there. And we'll hope that's enough. If we need to do a second year, I can do that off video. All right, so for olives, um, I have a few things. And if we look at the shop, we can look at the packs here and under olives. So we have a tractor that actually fits between the rows. Um, I actually found a different tractor under small. I just scrolled until I saw one that says that it's suitable for grape and olive farming. I also, of course, have the olive harvester. I do have the sprayer, though I don't think we'll need it. This one's just a little narrower for olive and grape work. Um, but this ground's already fertilized, so I don't think we'll actually have to use it. And then we're not going to mulch. Um, and I. We also don't need a plow. I bought this, but we won't need it. Uh, all we really need to do now is let it grow. And if we look at the map, we'll see this purple is the olive color. And if we look at the ground, um, it's already fertilized, so we should be good there. And now we just kind of wait for it to harvest. And now we can go over to the sunflowers. So sunflowers can also be planted. So I have the planter here. And I did the one that ha has direct seeding, so it'll uh, basically cultivate on its own. You don't have to do pre-cultivation. And you can see here the sunflower symbol down there. I already have it unfolded, so we just need to plant. And while it's doing that, we can look at our other tools. I have the uh, trailer ready to go. I have a slurry tank, which I filled up with slurry from the farm and that's under here. Um, I just chose this, where is it, down here, that one, and I just backed it up into this one. I have the sprayer that is a separate vehicle for weeds. Um, I, I bought this one here, just filled it up with herbicide. And then of course I have a harvester with the sunflower header. So make sure when you do sunflowers, you buy one that has the sunflower symbol like this. And so now we can, see, well, let me check one thing. We're gonna get rid of plowing, lime, 
you can see that we're actually getting one fertilizer state. That's because this field is uh, full of weeds. It has fully grown weeds. So when you cultivate over it, which is basically what's happening with that planter, it'll actually give you a fertilizer state. Uh, so that is sort of nice. And now we will skip forward until the sunflowers are planted. All right, so we have our sunflowers planted here and we have our slurry tank. You can see these are separate items. We have the tank, that green part there that I filled up with slurry, and then I backed it up and attached it to this distributor. Um, and I just filled it up on, I think, from my cow lot. And now we don't need to activate double application since we already have that first state from the uh, weeds. So we can turn it on and lower it. And you can see in the very top that both of the back tools are blue. And now we can drive forward and we should, you can actually see the ground is changing anyway. We should now have um, both fertilizer states. So now we don't have to worry about fertilizing for the rest of the season. All we have to do is de-weed at some point. So what I'm going to do is skip forward to April so that we can then take care of our weeds. All right, so we have finished our fertilizing. So we have both fertilizer states. We have skipped forward a month and you can see our field is full of weeds. So we um, are just going to spray them since this has the whitest uh, path here. The So at this point you could probably use the weeder that doesn't use spray if we can find it in all the tools. So these you can just set down and it basically just rakes them up. Um, since it's only been a day, you could probably do it with these. They're probably small enough. But again, this one, uh, because this field is so large, we'll just go ahead and take care of them this way. So once again, I will go ahead and finish spraying the field and then we can keep, keep moving on. All right, so we're finishing up here. You can see on the map, our weeding color here is going away and we are finished now with this field. So now all we really have to do is wait till harvest season. So if we look at our calendar, we can plan a little bit. The sunflowers will be harvestable in October. The olives will be harvestable in October, and we still need canola oil so we can plant that in August. So at this point, we can just skip forward to August and start planting our canola. All right, so we're back. We have skipped forward to August, so you can see our orchards and sunflower field over there. And now we need to plant canola. And this field has already been cultivated. So what I did was I bought a cedar, and you can see the canola icon here. And I bought this one just because it's the biggest one. Um, and it also can do solid fertilizer. And there's that symbol there. So I filled it with some fertilizer, so now when we lower and start planting, um, we will get one fertilizer state as well while we plant. And so if we go a little ways and check our map, we will see one fertilizer state. And that's just a kind of another way to do that. Or if we didn't have that, we could always apply the double application on the slurry tank, um, which we'll just do both. And I am getting a little off here. So what I will do now is I'm actually going to have a second cedar. You can kind of see way off in the distance. I have a second one ready to go just to speed this up. Um, and I'm only probably going to do about half to two thirds of this field because it's a really large one. I won't show fertilizing or weeding again since we just saw that with sunflowers. So I'm actually going to skip forward to October so that we are ready to harvest sunflowers and olives. All right, so you can see here on the left, we have planted our canola, fertilized and weeded, and we are now in October. So our sunflowers are ready to harvest. So let's begin that process. And I actually have a second harvester ready to go just to help us out. And also in October, our olives are ready to go. So I have our olive harvester, I have unfolded it. So we can turn it on and we'll see that start to go. And now all we have to do is drive over it. And you'll see in the bottom right, we are slowly gaining olives. And so I will spend some time and we'll collect all of this. And then we'll finally be able to take 
some product over to the oil mill. All right, so we have finished our harvests. So we have our sunflower here. Uh, that harvester has already been unloaded. And we have our grapes here, or <laughs> grapes, olives here. So I've backed up over this tipper and we can unload those. And now we can, if we wanted to, um, we could har not harvest, fertilize these. So if we look at the map, you can see all these are unfertilized now because we just um, took them. So if we wanted to, we could do that and fertilize them up and we got one state there. The other nice thing about olives is that as long as you just leave them, they will be ready to harvest again next October. So you don't have to replant them or prune them or anything. Um, just let them sit and in a year you can harvest them again. So at this point we can uh, drive over to the oil mill. Um, while we are driving, let's one more time look at the map to see where it is. And we'll see that it is here, because there's the factory symbol, so it's not too far away. Um, since my last recording, so I recorded the first two-thirds-ish of this episode on a separate day, there has been an update. You will see that when I went to the fertilizer menu, there's a bunch of new options here. Um, but also they changed the recipes in the uh, production tab, so we will unload this into the oil mill and then look at the recipes. So there we go, we're unloading it and if we go into our production we have sunflower is being loaded in and you'll see our recipes are different than they were at the beginning of the video. Um, so they have sort of like reversed it now so you have a smaller recipe, so two sunflower for one oil. Um, but then the cycles are now monthly, so we'll get 4800 cycles in one month. So I guess just every day basically when you sleep. Um, so that will happen and they're all the same recipe. And now you can see this is blue because it is starting to produce. So here's our sunflowers and we should get about 12,500 oil or because you should get about half as much. And that is sunflower oil. And now we can do the same and I'll kind of skip forward to our olive unloading. All right, so we have our olives here, and we just do the same thing. And we will see in the, once it starts going, in production we should now have olives. Yep, that's blue, and it'll run 2400 cycles this month. So at this point, I think what we're going to do is go sleep, and that'll push us over to November, and then we can see uh, how much oil we have. All right, so it's now November, and we can see here we actually have a pallet, which uh, has to be a thousand to appear for you to take. So if we look here, we have 344 sunflower oil oil left, so plus the thousand that they are letting us uh, take away if we want to, and we have 671 olive oil, and we still have a lot more olives, so eventually we will get a full pallet of that as well, um, if not a couple of those. And at this point, we still want to look at canola oil and just finish that production. So I am going to skip forward all the way to after we harvest the canola, because it'll look the exact same as sunflowers. All right, so we have unloaded our canola. We've skipped ahead or slept, I guess, for to the next month. And you can see our canola oil is running. Everything else has finished. So we have almost 10,000 oil in storage plus what's uh, out front there. We have another pallet of olive oil. So once we remove some stuff, we'll get a pallet of that. And we have a pallet of canola, uh, a pallet just being 1,000 liters. So at this point, we could start using a front loader of any kind, just something with a pallet fork, 
and start putting them onto your trailer. Uh, so what I use is just this small trailer here, um, but you can obviously go for a larger one or one of these, uh, not the tank, um, or one of these trailers that can transport pallets. Uh, so just go ahead and get your fork lined up there. And you can see in the bottom right, we have our sunflower oil symbol. And it's freaking out a little bit. And just throw it on. Carefully. Ish. And it's getting stuck there. And then once you're all loaded up, you'll want to go over here. And in the top left, you'll want to fasten belt. And that'll just sort of glue them down. And once it's fastened, uh, they'll just sort of stick. So I'll spend a few minutes here loading this up with some oil. All right, so I just kind of loaded one of each. Um, you can see once you take one off, another one takes its place. It doesn't seem like you can control which one. Like for example, if I wanted all my sunflower first, um, there doesn't seem, seem to be a way to like prioritize what gets released. Um, you can also always change your output mode. So I could change this down here to selling or distributing, though, though there's no distribution of oil. Um, and it'll just sell it automatically, though you'll get a reduced price. Uh, some people have told me anywhere from 35 to 40 percent um, lower lowered price for that. So it, it is more advantageous to do it yourself. We'll fasten these in. So now the only thing you do with oil is sell it. There's no other production chain. So if we look at the prices here, um, you can see these are all the places. And it looks like for our sake today, the grocery mart is probably going to be the best just to sell all of them. I'll look at 8,000 just for a thousand worth of olive oil. Um, so what we can do is tag that and it should be over here. You can see that light. So we'll go ahead and drive over there and sell this assortment of oil. All right, so we're at the grocery mart and you can sell stuff back here. You'll see the unloading icon. All we should have to do is drive into it and it'll start sort of disappearing. And you'll see in the top right, our money is appearing. And there you go, about $18,000 just for those three pallets of oil. And we could just keep doing that all day until all the oil is sold. Um, and again, that is all you do with the oil is sell it. And that is oil from beginning to end, all three types. I hope you enjoyed seeing that production chain. Leave a like, subscribe, or comment below if you have any questions, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.